dear friends today we are going to discuss uh, uh, a type of ulcer that is syphilitic ulcer fortunately uh, the disease syphilis is very rare nowadays in india and we seldom see any patient of uh, syphilis but uh, <clears throat> three or four decades before or in the uh, 50s 60s it was a very common disease and uh, almost uh, if we think that there are a few diseases like tuberculosis like syphilis and diabetes they exert their effect in the entire body involving almost all organs so but let us uh, have a few important thing related to the syphilitic ulcer so syphilitic ulcer the syphilis is caused by treponema pallidum an organism and it is a sexually transmitted disease it has essentially has three stages the primary secondary and tertiary and the manifestation and the symptoms and signs are different in almost all the stages so let us have first the primary syphilis this primary syphilis involves the genital area so almost occurs 4 weeks after the infection means the contact to an infected person and there is a genital chancre or a shallow ulcer in the genitals that is known as anterior chancre these are painless this is very important thing so ulcer is totally painless it is hard indurated non bleed it doesn't bleed there are some other sites like anal region lips and breasts etc now the lymph nodes are enlarged in case of the primary syphilis and these are the painless firm discrete lymph nodes in groin in inguinal region and there is spontaneous healing of this first stage so in majority of the cases in many cases what happens that a small ulcer occurs in the genital region and the, it uh, disappears spontaneously and uh, majority of the persons they just ignore this thing and they take some treatment simple treatment and then it uh, just disappear and again it appears in the third to uh, second or third stage so let us talk about the secondary syphilis primary secondary and tertiary in the secondary syphilis the ulcer in the mouth the ulcer occurs in the mouth and they are snail track ulcer it is a, it is a characteristic feature of the syphilitic ulcer that is known as snail track ulcer there is condyloma lata involving the mucocutaneous junction latum is singular lata is plural mucocutaneous junction and most importantly it occurs in the anal canal at the mucocutaneous junction so one had to differentiate between the condyloma lata and condyloma acuminatum the condyloma acuminata they are caused by the human papilloma virus they are the warts or genital warts so one has to differentiate between these two conditions again there are lymph nodes they are discrete and painless epitrochlear and suboccipital region involve the suboccipital region and there are some other manifestations like hepatitis means the inflammation in the liver meningitis and there is a moth eaten alopecia in the alopecia means loss of hair in the scalp and some other places moth eaten type of alopecia is seen in the secondary stage the third tertiary stage there is deep punched out painless non tender gummatous ulcer this is these are the characteristics of tertiary syphilis so one has to differentiate the type of ulcer they are deep punched out just like we punch the a bunch of paper painless non tender gummatous ulcer with wash leather slough leather ke with wash leather slough just as the we wash the leather and just the similar appearance is there there is silvery tissue paper scar in subcutaneous bone subcutaneous bones means tibia yes tibia tibia is a subcutaneous bone and palate skull there are some neurological manifestations also it is very important to understand neurosyphilis 
the syphilis involves the spinal cord and the condition is known as tapes dorsalis tapes dorsalis means it involves the uh, spinal cord and it causes the generalized paralysis of insane so it is a manifestation of the later tertiary stage so these are the three stages primary secondary and tertiary in the syphilitic ulcer so one should know each and every stage however it is very uh, important to know that nowadays the syphilis is almost rare rare disease we seldom see any patients thank you very much